We're certainly ready after a long winter to look forward to spring. And of course, the sound of baseball is one of the things that helps us know that spring is coming soon, particularly in the Chicago area. Right now at the Addison Center for the Arts here at Addison Trail High School, there's a beautiful watercolor uh, art display that is here for you to see, take advantage of, and learn a little bit more about not a baseball field in our area, but one that stood for many years in New York, and that was Yankee Stadium. Uh, the artwork uh, show is called Essence Old Yankee Stadium, and the artist is here with us today, Tony Armanderas. Tony, uh, thank you for coming here to Addison, and, and welcome to our community. Thank you very much. This is a beautiful watercolor display, as I mentioned. Uh, as we uh, begin to look at some of the artwork, where did you get the idea for capturing, as you say, the essence of what used to be the Yankee Stadium uh, in New York? Well, it came about as uh, several visits to uh, New York back in 2008. Uh, I was there for another art exhibition, and I wanted to visit Yankee Stadium, but they'd already closed it. And so I figured, well, I'll go up to the Bronx anyway, see what I can see, take some pictures. And over the few years after that, I took many more pictures, and I th looking through them, I thought, well, this is a good... Uh, reason to do a series of paintings and I thought well if I couldn't get in Yankee Stadium what as an artist could I do to show it sometimes without even showing it get, capturing the essence of the feel of the neighborhood let's take a look at some of those in fact we'll begin with a piece right over here that you call right field very very appropriate and as you just mentioned you're not in the stadium per se you are around it you are taking in the sites the areas that maybe people remember we see stands which we'll see another another piece on in a moment is this the neighborhood feel that you're capturing here this is what people who either lived in the area or would visit this is what they'd see on their way to and from Yankee Stadium Exactly. We're so used to seeing the imagery of in, in the interior, you know, all the old photos of Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig and stuff like that. This is, this is more what uh, everybody else, the fancies as they're going to or leaving the stadium, uh, the neighborhood that surrounds it, the L tracks, some, some of the favorite places like stands or some of the other restaurants. So that's, that's exactly what, what, what you're feeling, what you remember. Moving on down then, you have a piece called Escape from New York, uh, which I guess would mean you take the subway then out of New York, right? Or, or get in your car. Uh, was this a subway station right right off of uh, Yankee Stadium itself? Right, right at the 161st Street Station, okay. right there at the corner. Um, very, Stadium. very, you know, uh, actually, uh, if you could see a little better back here, if it wasn't so sunlit, you would see that they were constructing new Yankee Stadium right across the street. What is new Yankee Stadium now? Does that have a name or is it still Yankee Stadium? It's just Yankee Stadium. Okay. That's the way they've kept it. How yeah. old was Yankee Stadium when it was torn down? Do you know? Uh, it was built in 19, in the early 1920s. Uh, took a few years. I think 1922 or 23 was the first year it opened. Okay. And obviously historic uh, uh, in nature. Moving along now, you mentioned it's in Brooklyn. Is that typically, you know, we had to describe it. It's in Brooklyn. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Bronx. Is, uh, well, no, it's in the Bronx. Uh, right, right. Yeah. Brooklyn was the Dodgers. Um, but uh, the Bronx, yeah, this was, uh, if you look around, if you see aerial photos of, of this area, I mean, it's really, there's so much iconic stuff going on. The, mm -hmm. the L tracks right next to it, uh, the, the, the apartments, the, the, the streets, I mean, just, and now it's just a park. But here, you're leaving the stadium, you're going right up the stairs from the 161st Street Station, and you're headed towards downtown. I think you're also capturing what you would probably say would be the the urban feel, the the kind of the, the the smell of the city, the 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 feel of it, the the heat on the sunny days coming off of the building, and sort of the 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 grit of it all, you might say, which might not be all that appealing, but when you're there, you probably live it more than you actually are able to see it. I agree. I agree. You know, this isn't necessarily about the uh, look and feel yeah, of the yeah, interior yeah. of the ball game it's about the outside yeah, and this yeah. is you know if you put a ballpark in right in the smack of the neighborhood uh, like we have with a lot of other ballparks this is this is this is what you see and this is what you feel I can see that here's stands again tell us about stands uh, we were t chatting earlier we would equate it to uh, Murphy's or some of the other places around uh, I'm thinking of Wrigley Field now but uh, neighborhood bars neighborhood establishments are just as much a part of the oh, yeah. uh, stadium itself. oh yeah these you know stands has been there for a long time and it's it's you know even over the few years that i took some of my pictures of the same 
uh, the, the same facade, it changed. So it's, the, you know, there's a lot going on there. Everybody that I've talked to that's been in New York or, you know, from New York, they all know stands. It's, it's that big sign, it's, there's a big bar on the inside, and uh, I felt that, you know, I, I, I had to capture that. This is where one would go in uh, to, uh, the uh, to yeah. get their ticket. This is the entrance to the bleachers, okay? What, why were they all closed, though? Why did it all say booth closed? Is that because the stadium was closed? That was, that was it. You know, this, this was another, uh, based on a group of shots I took um, the, year, the year it closed in 2008, so. Tell me about how you represent, because I'm, I'm noticing it here, but others, the lighting. Look how the sun is captured, just a little different. Uh, intensity and a little different volume, I guess you'd say, on each one of those pillars. As you photographed these when you were in New York then, is that really what it looked like, the, just a little bit of sunlight? It's, it's kind of a sad look to it because the sun's going down. Uh, th there is a lot of sunlight there. Um, in the photos, uh, one of the things that some artists make a mistake is, is that they represent everything in the photo. In the actual photo, you can see the pillars in the back just as clear as you can in the front. Well, that's, that's not quite the way I want it. I want to show a little bit more depth there, a little bit more, uh, you know, focus on some of the front, so I make some changes to that. But uh, the sunlight is very important. Well, your eye does capture kind of a one thing at a time, so if you focused on that, you're not going to be noticing so much the pillars down, down the right. way. But you know what they're representing of, because you, you keep that same theme going throughout. This is uh, uh, well known in Addison because it was used on the poster and the flyer that I'll just hold up here um, for uh, uh, Tony's uh, exhibit here. It's the uh, uh, one that reads, No More Tickets where they used to sell the, the I guess, the single uh, game tickets right there, uh, but no more, correct? So would this be like the box office? Well, correct. There were several of these signs, you know, bleachers, game day ticket sales, and it stretched all along right under uh, River Street where, where the L is. And, uh, and I saw this sign, and with the, the Visa sign and the Yankees logo, I thought, perfect. You almost have created what I would con call a 3D effect with that chain. Just, I, I'm focusing on just on that, and I've seen this piece now for a couple of weeks on your poster, and it almost truly does have a 3D effect. I don't know if you intended to do it that way, but it, it sure looks like that sign is coming right out at you. Yeah, that was, that was part of it. You know, the rust, but the shadows, the shadows really make it. You know, that, that gives it the support, so yeah. thank you. Here you've taken something that is as common as, as a, a, a garbage can, you know, and, and I guess made it part of your whole feeling because like we said it's it's kind of got that urban urban grit to it it's it, it's it's hard to put it in words but you feel it in your heart well with the sticker on it and just the shape of the the, the can it's uh the, the you know i went to new york uh, last fall and these cans were all gone i didn't see them so you know a few years ago only in new york did i see cans like that mm -hmm. and then with the sticker on it i thought yeah gotta do it gotta do it what would you like to do beyond this? You said this is kind of a work in progress right now, right? Will you be creating other pieces off of your trips to New York and, and continue on the story of Old Yankee Stadium, or do you want to go into some other? Well, I have four more paintings that uh, I'll be creating here. One is of the, uh, of, that I'm working on now of the, um, the marquee, which says Yankee Stadium, and then shows the list of the 26 world championships, which everybody wow. envies quite a bit. But uh, there's, a, there's a few other, like I said, a total of four more paintings, and I'll be finished with the series. Um, I'll be showing, trying to show this uh, maybe even in New York. We'll see, we'll see how it Have goes. Have you shared it with, with anyone in the Yankee organization? Have you reached out to them or them. Not yet, not yet, not yet. But I want to want to finish it and then, you know, get it out there and uh, see see what happens. Well, well, Tony, it's been fascinating. What a trip back in time. Whether you've been to New York to uh, the Bronx proper, or you remember any of this growing up, or you're a baseball fan uh, of, of days gone by, and you can relate to a lot of this. It's a wonderful show, great exhibit, and uh, uh, wonderful that we have it here in Addison. Continues through March 28th here at the Addison Center for the Arts at Addison Trail High School. Check uh, their website at uh, addisoncenterforthearts.com, and you can find out more about the hours for this show and their other upcoming events. We've been here today at the Addison Center for the Arts with Tony Armanderas and his show Essence Old Yankee Stadium. Tony, thank you very much for sharing it with us today.